a joyous reunion after a forced vacation. Glad to be home. Fred and Susan Fitzgerald and their dog Tia have spent the last week living in a camping trailer parked in a friend's orchard. Gives you a whole new outlook on the importance of neighbors and friends and, and um, the goodness of people around you. One week ago, the Karameas Creek wildfire forced the Fitzgeralds and their neighbors in Olala to flee. The burning came over the top of that ridge, at top of the mountain. Now they're eager to see what shape their home is in and if the plants in their garden have survived a week without water. Home is sweet home, eh? Oh. For 94-year-old Albert Bourgeois, getting the order to leave last week was unsettling. It's the son of my gun when he chased you from your home, you know? Six your feet are right out of you. He spent a week in a cramped motel room, wondering if he would even have a home to return to. When we came home, like I said, I opened the door and I kissed the floor and I said, I pick him home. Many living here say they retired in Olala to enjoy the beauty of the valley and the quiet pace of life here. But this past week has shown them how quickly that can change. And they're thankful for the work of firefighters who saved their neighborhood. Hey, everybody here is safe and has still have their homes, so that's what's important. A new perspective can always be good. Newfound perspectives and gratitude that the place they call home is still standing. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Karameas.